Hello everyone, today we're going to be making some West Virginia pepperoni rolls. My mom used to make these all the time growing up and I'm so excited to do this today. Today you're just going to make a simple dough and let it rise. I think I let mine rise not quite long enough this time, but this is just a trial test for me. Usually my mom uses her bread machine. Next you're going to be rolling it out because you have to make the little dough circles. So you're going to use any cup about the size of this. It's just like a small cup and then you're going to flatten it out a bit and then put some pepperoni inside. Now, my mom always used just the regular pepperoni that you see on pizza, but this time I wanted to experiment and use the pepperoni stick. And we tried some before that were like this, and it was really, really good. So I wanted to try myself, see what I could do. And this is definitely a trial run. There were some things I would do differently. And the stick that we got was the boar's head pepperoni. It was really delicious. I think I made them a little bit too thick. I would definitely go thinner next time. When you went to school as a kid, what did you always take for lunch? Like, what did your mom pack for you? Some people may be a peanut butter and jelly or a turkey sandwich. But when I was growing up, my mom always made us these pepperoni rolls and we would take them to lunch, eat two or three tiny little rolls. And that's just what we had. We had those all the way from elementary school all the way up to high school. It was just something our family loved. If you want a meal, eat two. If you just want a snack, eat one. It's just like the perfect snack. I can't believe more people don't eat pepperoni rolls. They are so delicious. Now at this point, all I have to do is pop these bad boys in the oven and after 15 minutes, this is what they look like. Now I used a new, it's like a ceramic coated pan. I actually love it. Like look how they're not stuck to the pan at all. That makes cleanup way easier and there's always a wonky looking one that unravels, right? I'm obsessed with this new pan. Like, look how that doesn't stick. It's amazing. These turned out really good. There's a few things I'm going to change for next time, but now I'm going to eat these.